USG is a multi-award winning, multi-asset global FX and CFD broker, enabling its clients worldwide to trade currency pairs, indices, private equities and commodities in premium trading conditions. Now, with their headquarters in Sydney and offices as well around the world, their goal is to help clients grow and prosper as traders wherever they are, providing a full integrated suite of support services ranging from one-on-one -on -one coaching, industry-leading market analysis and innovative trading tools helping their clients to make smarter trading decisions. Well, with this level of dedication and with online trading growing in popularity every day, it's no wonder that USG are seeing some pretty fantastic results. Here now to speak with me about the company is Shay Zakheim, Group CEO of USG. Shay, a very warm welcome to the studio. Thanks for joining us. Thank I'm interested to know, where did USG begin? So USG uh, begin uh, as a very small company in uh, uh, the APEC region, uh, which is uh, uh, Australia and mainly Southeast uh, Asia. Uh, very small company, and step by step, we started getting ourselves a bigger set of clients, partners to work with, with these countries, especially around, uh, uh, along uh, the Asian, uh, Southeast Asia countries. Um, and uh, it was, um, the start of course was very hard. We needed to build our trust We needed to be, uh, with the clients, with the partners. We needed to build uh, uh, the brand itself. Nobody uh, knew the brand. I remember when uh, the first few sales calls from our uh, account managers to clients says, um, this is John from USG. They said, who, what? <laughs> Um, but, um, you know, a few years after now, uh, everybody knows the name, everybody knows the brand and um, we're very proud to achieve what we achieved. How would you describe that path towards success? I mean, as you say, from humble beginnings now to a global success story, if you could sum it up, would that, was that path to success linear? No, I would say small steps, very small steps. We started with very few limited uh, uh, instruments and products to trade on. Uh, started to increase those numbers, you know, also a risk manager needed to get their expertise and uh, experience and uh, um, uh, also all the sales managers, the teams, the support. Um, we, we didn't want it to get too big, too fast and then uh, fail with supporting our clients. One of our main, main uh, uh, key points is the service we provide to our mm -hmm. clients. We have a very big service desk all around the world in few countries, uh, including Hong Kong, uh, um, uh, Manila, uh, Taiwan. Uh, now we are opening shortly. We're just about to launch our uh, office here in London that will basically uh, uh, control all the European uh, approach of the company. Um, together with that, getting the right people for the other uh, um, completing uh, services we provide to our clients, including very senior analysts, uh, their lectures. We do a lot of offline work with clients, a lot of seminars, a lot of uh, uh, meetings, one-on-one -on -one coaching. So it took time to, to get the right people mm -hmm. in the right place and, you know, and do it with so, small steps in the way that we'll be able to give the best support to our clients. The landscape can be unpredictable, can't it? So how do you go about building trust, but also dealing with all the regulation that's required? First of all, of course, we have uh, a compliance, uh, kind of a group compliance level uh, uh, desk, which supervise all the other compliance. So in, in any local office we have, we also have the local compliance manager, officer. Uh, but on top of that, we also have uh, uh, a group level compliance team that make sure that everyone uh, you know coordinate with uh, one of each other and of course it's 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 getting harder and harder you know regulators changing the rules a lot and make it more strict which we see it as a good thing because um you know uh when a regulator provide a safer environment for the traders and the investors um take, basically it makes our life easier uh, and it's good to, to have all the, you know, the companies that don't comply with those regulation and uh, compliance, uh, street compliance, uh, away uh, of the market. So it's a win-win in the end of the day, yeah. 
part of your success is all about, I guess, what drives you. And part of that is that you've become the principal partners, haven't you, for a pretty famous football club. Um, yes. Tell me a little bit about the club, why you decided to partner with them, and what you think that means for the football club, and of course, for USG as well. So first of all, the decision was um, because we, we, we achieved uh, uh, in our goals to become a pretty large company, uh, uh, even one of the biggest companies around Asia Pacific area, which this is where we started before we deployed to other jurisdictions like Europe and uh, South Africa. Um, and um, we have uh, decided that uh, the next level has arrived and we need to take the brand to the next level. Uh, and that was um, basically to choose the right uh, team, brand, to, to, to join the road. Uh, and um, it, it took us a few months to find the right club. Um, and uh, after talking with few clubs, few agencies, um, at the end we, uh, we came across with Sheffield United guys and uh, it kind of uh, felt uh, right. And we took it from there. And um, for us, it was mainly, of course, to build a brand with uh, worldwide awareness. Um, and I'm pretty sure that because we're pretty big in the Asia Pacific area, for a club like uh, Sheffield United, also to bring all our uh, clients as the supporters to Sheffield United to increase their uh, Asian uh, fan base, I think it's going to do good. Uh, it's already doing good for both sides. It's just a little bit more stressful now though for you isn't it when you watch the matches you're just invested in a slightly different way. Yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm used to I'm a, I'm a, a the Premier League uh, a fan from since I was a kid I used to watch the games for a very long time uh, every Saturday Sundays and uh, but it used to be from a fan point of view you know no no pressure <laughs> all good now it's, um, you know, now we need the points, we need the wins, uh, it's a different uh, game ball. And now we have an award from the European Best Execution Broker in Australia. How does that feel, both personally, having, you know, you know, birthed the company, if you like, seen it rise to this great level of global success? What does it mean when you get an award like this? So, first of all, it's, uh, it's important to the company and personally to myself, in the company level, it's important for all the, uh, the staff yeah. because in the end of the day, there's a lot of brokers out there and I believe that uh, it's the manpower what makes you know, the difference uh, and the way that people care about their jobs and you know, their clients and to, to, to provide that support to our clients. Uh, and we do a lot around that to make them, you know, the employees happy. And um, in a world like that gives them the, you know, the diploma, the certificate that mm -hmm. we are doing something good. And of course, personally, you know, someone that started the, the road, the path to, to, to that success, it's even bigger because, you know, it giving me the, uh, the certificate that we, we, we're probably doing something right. <laughs> and on that subject, doing something right, what would you like the future to look like? So the future is uh, going to be bright for USG. And our clients, we all the time working to get the best and the newest uh, tools for traders, most advanced systems. Uh, now we're working on two or three different uh, uh, projects to you know, evolve from uh, uh, the, what we provide to, for our traders today. And uh, we're also deploying for other countries. As, as I said, in the next month, uh, we're supposed to um, launch our London office, which will control all the European uh, um, uh, approach and we just started some partnership in South Africa to start getting more African clients as well so you know we're getting bigger but uh, the most important part that we are keeping our um, you know level of, of professionality and support the way it is and even tr all the time trying to improve it to be better and better in, in what we are doing. Congratulations on your award, Shay, Thank and to you. all the people within your company who've worked so hard. It's been fantastic to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.